Hi everyone, welcome back to the studio vlog. Before it gets started, I wanted to stop in really quick. This was filmed early and before everything happened um, when it came to the George Floyd case and I wanted to make sure um, that I don't take away from what's going on in the news and I want to highlight that while I am a small content creator, um, there are people who do follow and I wanted to highlight that my platform is inclusive and in support of Black Lives Matter. Um, I wanted to make sure to kind of give you something to kind of help your brain um, rest from what I'm sure is going on in your social media feeds, just like what's going on in mine. Um, but at the same time, that's a privilege that we have to be able to take a break from those types of things. Um, and I want to make sure to highlight my support of the movement. Um, personally, I have been working with um, local community members in my area to form a coalition um, to help to pursue change um, within systemic issues that we face in our community. Um, we're planning a march um, and there's also tons of places that you can donate to as well. I've been working to donate food and, and things like that locally um, to parts of Chicago that have been deeply impacted um, due to what's going on in the city when it comes to things like rioting and looting. Um, so I want to share links like that down in the description box below. I want to highlight I am in support of Black Lives Matter and uh, I want to make sure that if you can, you can do your part to end what's going on in this world um, and most importantly helping the black community to seek change. Hi everyone, welcome back to the studio vlog. So it's been a little while since I filmed. I've been catching snippets here and there of the end of March and into early April, but the dog is eating very loudly. Um, but I have not filmed nearly as much as I planned. So trying to get classes situated because I'm still teaching online, um, but I have more classes than normal next term. Um, and then of course all of my Skillshare classes. But I wanted to check in really quick. Um, I've been working on a lot of stuff, uh, creative stuff, just trying to find ways to keep my hands and my brain busy outside of all the madness of, you know, working with the kids home and getting them situated and all that good stuff. Um, I've been really inspired by the 70s. So I released the 70s like inspired um, social media bundle over on Creative Market and on my Etsy shop um, for Insta Stories. I create like my own Insta story templates, so I figured why not recycle those and um, share them with others to purchase. So I've been working on that the last you know week. Um, some fun creations for my Patreon. Um, I like to give like themes every month for Patreon and specifically so that I have concepts to draw out like the phone backgrounds for the downloads and the computer backgrounds that I design and things like that. So this month was all about wild animals and I created a fun little set of animal doodles um, that I, I really like the birds like the flamingos and the bird that I created. So, so I created some phone backgrounds and some uh, desktop backgrounds for that and those are over on my Patreon. Every month I have like digital downloads um, for like your phone and for your computer desktop kind of backgrounds. And then I have, um, I kind of cycle out whether or not I send out like free printables for bullet journaling or printables for um, people who, who use a Cricut and want to cut out stickers. So I do like files like that. Um, and then digital stickers for people who like, like digital planning. Um, and then my goal is hopefully I can start sending out um, my pen pals tiers and people can actually test out some of my products before they go live um, in my shop. So I was working on that this week. I also worked on, what did I work on? Um, a small business like digital planner sticker pack, like these like transparent PNGs that people can also use in other things other than digital planning, but often, more often than not, um, people use for digital planning. So I created this really beautiful like color scheme that gets a dark, like dark charcoal and off-white color scheme. I wanted to go really minimal and I think it turned out really pretty. I was really happy with it. 
Um, so I worked on that this week and getting all those products live. Um, the last couple weeks, what did I do? Um, I worked on getting my last Skillshare class live. Um, I've been working on concepting out my next one, which I'll talk about in a minute, but I did a fun video that I loaded last week, or not last week, when, whenever this goes up, it's always like weeks ahead of, probably three or four weeks ago, um, I loaded a tutorial on contracts, like why contracts are important when it comes to freelance work and when you're working with clients. Um, I kind of shared like um, how I got started in freelance way back in um, the late 2000s after I graduated from college um, and I shared some funny, not so funny really, stories of how I learned really quick the importance of uh, having contracts with clients because of non-payment or projects taking longer than normal. Um, so that tutorial went up and I think it's just, it's something we don't always like to talk about but I think is really, really relevant and incred incredibly important, especially if you're gonna be working with clients um, or other companies. It's so important to have a contract just to validate what you're doing, have professionalism, and have a way to protect yourself and also protect a client. So definitely check that out. I'll have that up here in the little info bar so you can um, click over to that video if you want later. Um, I also worked on some fun, gorgeous, I was really proud of how they turned out and actually I'm probably gonna use some of them for my next Skillshare class. Um, but I was working on some surface pattern designs. I haven't, um, I hadn't done any uh, surface repeats in a couple months and I need to get back into the habit of continuously creating them every week and loading them. And actually I'm gonna probably be using those for Instagram um, just to share some more concrete work on my Insta stories outside of like products that I've launched um, and Instagram. Uh, but I created these gorgeous floral repeats and I created this like nine pack of floral patterns that are um, seamless repeats. And then I also included like icons and the sketches, um, like the color sketches and then some like paper that you can print out in half by 11. Um, so I released those over on Creative Market and on Etsy um, and I really liked how they turned out and I was thinking about like what is another fun way I can promote these outside of my typical like sharing in my Facebook groups and sharing on my page and sharing on Instagram. And I'm seeing more and more people like really going all out and super creative on Insta stories. And I was like, hmm, this is interesting. And people love the whole AR, like augmented reality, um, like face, like the face masking um, that you see on like in, you could use it now on Facebook, you use it on Insta stories. It started in like the Snapchat filters, right? Um, and I was like, how could I do that? Um, so I was doing a lot of research and I figured out how to make my own Insta story filters. Um, and I'm going to be using those, um, those repeats that I made as backgrounds. And then I'm actually going to be building my next Skillshare class on this whole concept. It's super fun. Um, I'm very tech savvy and I always have been. I understand web development and things like that. I'm not like a coder. I don't know any of that. Um, but I understand the basics of coding and HTML. But you don't need any of that to be able to do this, which is the coolest thing because um, Facebook has this um, software that you can download called Spark AR. And basically that is how a lot of people are developing and building out these filters. Um, it takes a little teeny bit of a learning curve, but they have fantastic tutorials on uh, their website. But then what I'm thinking is I'm gonna make it my own um, and kind of cater it to people who are illustrators or surface pattern designers and show how you can take your surface pattern designs and create like a background, an augmented reality background. Working on that on Friday. Today is Wednesday, so I have to finish editing the vlog that goes up tomorrow. Um, I have a client video I need to work on. I wanna work on some greeting card concepts, but again, I know with everything that's going on, it's kind of hard for a lot of people who are selling stationery on Etsy. So I'm trying to figure out a way to like reconcept it out so that it's digital um, because I'm finding that digital products are kind of maintaining a steady flow, um, especially if they're useful or 
um, you know, they're something catered to a specific market like in this case like what i've been focusing on is the digital planning community and creating things that they might find important or necessary because you know what are you planning when you're at home but some of us are still working at home so it makes sense that we're planning out our work day and how we're gonna like fit in the kids and things like that um but yeah so i was thinking about grade cards i don't know what um i wanted to see if i can use some of my floral work from the surface pattern repeats that I just released um, maybe as like the card backings and then some fun lettering concepts um, but yeah the other thing um, I was working on this week you know I'm all about being a lifelong like a lifelong learner I think it's just the teacher in me I love learning um, I love sharing what I learned and uh, I have made it a point to try and you know I use obviously I teach on Skillshare so like I have a Skillshare account um, I've had it even before I was teaching on Skillshare um, I've been on it what is it maybe two three years um, and a lot of that maybe even longer yeah it might be a little bit longer than three years um, but I for the longest time I used it as a teacher for professional development and also as a freelancer for and as a freelancer for professional development so learning new skills and things like that of course over this last year with me releasing my classes I really have been focused on the teacher side of things um, but with everything that's going on being home more often um, I'm trying to be really mindful of how much work I'm doing how often and what I need to create with it I'm trying to learn new things um, so I've been taking classes on Skillshare um, specifically I am working on a fantastic class on um, creating typefaces and your own fonts um, uh, from like hand lettering and then using the glyphs app um, to turn it into a functional font that you can then sell um, of course as a graphic designer I'm always looking for additional ways to pull in revenue streams um, and this kind of combines like my graphic design skills and my illustration skills um, so hopefully uh, by the time this goes up I will have my first set of fonts over on creative market because I noticed that those are really popular and and I am also um, what's the other class I've been taking Lauren Leslie's classes. I love Lauren Leslie. She's amazing. Super, super fantastic creative. Um, someone that I would consider an internet friend. Um, I actually did a live with her last week talking about our whole journey on Skillshare and the pros and cons of uh, having your courses on Skillshare and then um, some interesting workarounds um, to launching your own like, I feel like Skillshare is one platform, but then a lot of uh, instructors especially people who teach like online um, they have their own like bigger classes um, either through a place like teachable or through their own website and Lauren had a fantastic idea um, a workaround on how you can have your own classes loaded on your own website um, so definitely check out our live it's over on her uh, YouTube channel right now but I'll put a little clip and then I'll, I'll, add, I'll add a little info bar so you can um, check out that um, that video. So the other classes I've been taking are the Aaron Draplin classes. He's fantastic. I just love his personality. Like he is just the most down to earth creative, and I love that he like. I've been working in graphic design now for you know 13 years, and um, it was just really interesting how like when I first started, I worked in the fashion industry, right, and even in the fashion industry. It's this era of like elitism um, and then I noticed too like in the marketing and creative fields graphic designers not all of them um, but there was very much this era of like boo, like bouginess right and I love like retro style stuff that some people might consider kind of like kitschy and I always felt like oh my god I should be embarrassed of my like my my style um, but <laughs> like his style totally plays into that and I love that he's so down to earth and he, he understands how you can take design and that creative work and create it and turn it into like something tangible a product right oh there goes the lighting again um, so I've been taking his classes I love his classes um, design great stuff is a really good one I'm sorry the lighting is a hot mess right now the sun thing like it's freezing cold outside but the sun is like a summer 
um designing great stuff how to make merch with draplin is the one that i'm almost finished with i absolutely love this class and i love <laughs> like his subliminal messaging for like his products that he's wearing throughout everything um so that's a good one and then the one that i'm like i said I was, i'm working on the font one it's by jen palandro uh so that's another good one um so yeah so just this idea of continuing to learn to grow using this time if you have the opportunity and the privilege to do so um if you want you can use um, my teacher link i'll link it down below um you can try out skillshare premium for two months free i think that's the beauty of being a teacher they give us this awesome referral link that we can share with people so they can try it out um, i'm a huge advocate before i was even teaching i was using this for professional development if this is all I have this week for the talking head bits, I hope you understand. I'm trying to make it work. I want to thank you guys for your support. My channel is growing fantastically. I know I'm still a little small bean, small little baby, but I'm more than halfway there to a thousand. Um, so hopefully we can continue on this whole freelance life journey. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!